And let's do our warm ups and then focus a little bit on upper back today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, kind of spread out the toes. Sitting bones toward the floor, get that core activated. So bottom ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that lengthening through your spine as you reach your crown toward the ceiling. Arms at your sides, just relax them, kind of spread your toes out. Take a few moments to breathe and relax. Just get that inner focus, that yoga perspective as your attention point. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down as you reach your fingertips out and your head up. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows just a little bit back to keep that chest open. Inhale, way out to the front, keep the shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingers and lift your heart. Press the hands toward the floor and your head back and away. Keep those toes spread out as you exhale, come on over and just relax. So let the back begin getting a good stretch, move your head around, let that upper neck release a little bit. And then with your knees bent, keep your chin in, start at the bottom of the spine, just wind your way back to the top and lift your heart. Press the hands toward the floor, keeping that chest area open. And then inhaling up, release your arms back into mountain pose. Just feel things beginning to be a little more stimulated. And same thing, reaching out at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift one position over with the fingers. Stretch your head back, lift your heart. Pivot at your hips, exhaling all the way into that forward position and relaxing. And again, just release any tension in your spine. Keep breathing and relaxing. And then again, knees bent as you wind your way from the bottom all the way up, lifting your heart and dropping your shoulders. Nice upper body back bend. And then inhaling, come upright, release your arms. And again, just focus on that circulation increasing. And we'll do our side stretches. So let's keep one arm down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand right above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean over. No twisting on this one, remember. Keep that shoulder back. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch through the ribs. And then inhale back upright and release your arm. And we'll do the other side. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep both shoulders down, don't forget, and push the hands away, lean without twisting, and get that side opening. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. Lengthen through the side that's on the upper side and stretch. And then inhale again up and release. Feel the sides more open. Notice that we move side to side on the spine. But this time we're going to twist. So get those bones apart so they've got room. Arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders, and elbows clasped. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and exhale through the twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over and relax. See if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly while you come into this forward position. Notice your back, just let it relax. And then slowly staying in the twist, work your way up. Focus on your upper body, not your lower back as you go into the back bend. So gentle on the low back, elbows back, chest high, shoulder blades toward your waist. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balance things out. 
Again, arms near your ears as you stretch your spine apart and exhale, turning the other direction. Again, a breath in and exhale over. And again, a few breaths there, just relaxing, feeling your body, just noticing how things are working today. And again, inhaling, come on up in the twist, heart high, elbows back, shoulders down. And remember, always gentle on the low back when you're in the back bend in the twist. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, arms up, extended mountain. Just feel your body centered and grounded over your feet. And then pivot at your hips. Come forward, see if you can keep everything nice and straight for a moment. And then just exhale and relax and direct. Oh, hanging as far down as those arms want to go. Knees straight or bent, your choice. You can pull in for a little bit more stretch along your back if you want to. And then with the arms again at your front, chin in, knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of the spine. Find your way back slowly up and into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling your spine giving all that six direction stimulation. Take a moment to breathe. And then bring your hands, heels of the palms on your shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your waist, and then pull your elbows toward each other. So you're expanding across the upper back and supporting the lower back. And then lift your heart and look toward the ceiling and push your head slightly back, hands into the back of your body for support and breathe. So a nice back bend as deep as you'd like. See if you can keep your hips over your feet, over your ankles and your head reaching further back behind you as far as it wants to go. Heart high, upper body in the back bend. And then chin toward your chest, inhaling, come back up. Just feel that spine a little more stimulated. And we're gonna do our pelvic tilt. So turn your feet just slightly out, bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. So your hips stay right above your ankles and your knees are above your toes. And then hands above your knees and your shoulders above your toes as well. So we're gonna push into the sitting bones and get a good back bend through your whole spine, lifting that heart forward as you look to the front. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward, pull the ribs back, shoulders and chin in as you look down. So inhale, back bend, maximize through that whole length of your spine. Exhaling and rounding, feel the contraction through the midsection abs area. And just a few times, inhaling, chest expanding, exhaling, collapsing into that forward bend. And just feel your whole spine getting a little bit more work as you go through that range of motion as much or as little as your body is. Remember, not a lot of pressure in those knees, just positioning, keeping those shoulders above the toes. And then the next time you're rounded forward, just keep everything tucked in as you straighten up and back into mountain pose. Again, just notice all that circulation through the torso. Keep breathing. We're going to inhale, arms to shoulder level, palms up, bring them together overhead, and then swan dive forward, nice pivot at the hips, straight back, and exhale down. Slide your hands up under your knees, straighten everything in that halfway up stretch, chin a little bit toward your chest. Remember, stretch that spine long and straight. Exhale back down. Bring your palms together, knees slightly bent. Inhale, wind your way up. Keep following your hands toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs. A nice back bend as much or as little as you like. 
And again, exhaling, follow the hands to your heart. And all the way over into ragdoll. Hands up on the shins, stretch and straighten everything. Exhale back down. Knees bent, palms together, inhaling. And another nice back bend as you come all the way up. As deep as you'd like, lift that heart really high. Get that whole spine into the back bend as much remember as your body wants. Personal practice, exhaling, following those hands again all the way down. And let's go all the way to the floor and into child's pose for our transition. So remember, knees together, get a good stretch on your lower back or separate and a little bit easier to breathe. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, forehead toward the floor. Keep breathing, just relaxing. And then inhaling, we're going to sit up and you can either come into staff position or a cross leg position, whichever you're comfortable with. Just going to work that neck and shoulder area a little bit. So sitting bones a little behind you, core active, spine nice and straight, and shoulders back and down. Crown reaching to the ceiling, and then bring the chin into the front center at that indentation at the base of your neck. Feel the back of your neck getting a stretch, and then hands one at a time to the back of your head, remember, a little weight from your hands, but not pressure, not a lot of push, just a little bit of gentle addition of weight. Feel that area, just get a good stretch. And then releasing the hands, tip your head back, face forward, and then lift your chin toward the ceiling. Feel that contraction in the back of the neck but keep stretching out through the base of your skull so you're not really crunching things too much in the back of your neck. And then move your jaw around, get that throat area just nice and released and stretched. And then releasing your face, tip your head forward. And again, just feel your neck a little more stimulated. We're gonna work the sides of the neck next. So let's just switch the legs because creatures of habit, we always do the same way, so we want to even things out. So again, lengthen up, core active, everything nice and straight. We're going to keep both shoulders down and tip your ear over to one side. And if you're tipping toward that side and you want a little more stretch, you can bring that hand you're tipping toward up. Again, weight, not pressure, feeling that extra stretch on the side. And if you love it, you can put your hand on the floor on the opposite side. Feel the stretch, just let it relax. Everything facing the front. And then releasing the hands, tip your head back up. Feel the difference on the two sides. That's that yoga perspective observation. And of course, we're going to balance things out because in yoga, that's what we do. So again, tip the ear over to the opposite side. And again, just feel the stretch. If that's enough, you can stay there. If you want a little bit more weight, just bring the hand up, but don't push with it. And then if you still love it and you want a little bit more, hand to the mat on the opposite side. And again, just breathe and relax. Everything facing the front as you just release any tension. And again, releasing the hands, tip your head back upright, feel the sides of your neck. And then take one hand to the opposite knee, other arm out, stretch up, and we're going to follow that hand around, turning the neck and the whole spine into the twist. So hand to the floor, stretch up, exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turn. Take a breath, just relax. And then bring the hand up, follow it back around to the center and release. 
feel all that stimulation and switch your legs. And we're gonna twist the other way. So hand to the opposite knee, other arm out in front, stretch the whole spine, exhale, follow that hand around. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, not just the neck this time. Stretch from the sitting bones up, exhale, deepen. Whole body turning, not just the neck. And then bring the hand again up, follow it around, and release. Take a moment and breathe. We're gonna tuck the chin in and just let that whole upper back get a good stretch. Just pull in the ribs and round down slightly. And then inhaling. Lengthen the spine, then lift the chin, look overhead, shoulder, shoulder blades down, base of the skull reaching away, not contracting down in. And then face to the front and come up on your hands and knees. So after we get into table position, everything nice and straight, just bring your hands to the sides of the mat, slide your feet slightly back, drop your hips, roll your whole body into resting crocodile position, head to one side, shoulders down, hands, palms up, feet hip width apart. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale and turn your face to the opposite side. So we're gonna do an extended cobra. This is gonna work the upper back more than the lower back. So bring your face toward the floor and your arms shoulder level and straight out from your shoulders, hands right above your head. And then bring the fingertips into the heel of your palm, bring the length of your palm back, elbows bending out toward the sides of your mat and still face on the floor. And as you inhale, face forward, crown up, tuck that chin back in so the back of your neck keeps stretching. And then chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, and not a lot of pressure in the hands. They are just helping position. So as you get into this position, you'll probably feel this mostly across that neck area, top of your shoulders. Just breathe, heart forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, chin back just a little bit toward your chest so that neck keeps stretching along the back. So you shouldn't feel this a lot in your lower back. If you do, just lower your upper body a little bit more if that's uncomfortable. And then on an exhalation, just bring your upper body slowly pivoting back down. Forehead to the floor, take a moment and breathe. And again, bring those hands in a little bit closer. So another length of your hands, elbows further out to the sides, hand, palm down. Each hip with a part, lower body does nothing in cobras. Forehead on the mat. And inhaling, look to the front, bringing your crown up, face forward, chin tucking back in. Focus on the heart, chest forward and up and come a little higher into that cobra. So this time, upper back area as the focus for that contraction. So a little bit lower than that neck area was last time. Just notice where it is. Take a breath or two here. Maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice, what's right for your body. And on an exhalation, just slowly pivot back down. And again, let the forehead touch. Feel that stretch along the back of your body, along the neck. And then again, fingertips in, bring your hands back, maybe temple level. Elbows way out to the sides. Forehead on the floor, lower body relaxed. And inhale, face forward, crown to the ceiling. And again, tuck the chin, stretch the chest forward and up and shoulders and shoulder blades down. So again, focus on where you're feeling that contraction in your spine, probably shoulder blade area, maybe a little bit toward the lower part of the shoulder blades, depending on the positioning of your hands. So the thing about this sequence is, the further away your hands are, 
the higher up the neck and shoulder area, the contraction maximizes. And the closer to your shoulders your hands get, the more it goes into the middle back. So go ahead, exhale, forehead toward the floor. And when you get all the way down, just relax. One more choice. This is Yogini's choice. You can pick where you want that contraction. So further out, remember, higher up, closer to your shoulders, further down. If you get under your shoulders, your lower back gets involved. You don't need to do that. So pick your spot. And then inhale it, face to the front, crown to the ceiling, looking forward. Chin tucking back toward your chest, focus on the heart, forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. See if you got the point right for where you wanted that contraction along your spine. If you didn't, just exhale back down, move your hands up to make it higher or closer to make it lower on your spine. And then again, just inhaling and coming up. Maximizing the chest focus, keeping that back of the neck stretching, keeping those shoulders down. And as always, not a lot of pressure in those hands and arms. Take a breath, maximize however much your body wants, and then exhale and pivot back down. Feel the stretch on the back of your neck and the back of your body. Bring your hands under your shoulders, Press back into child's pose. So you can keep the arms out in front if you like that shoulder stretch, or you can go all the way into child's pose. Knees separated or together, a little bit more stretch on that lower back with them together. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhale, go ahead and sit up and feel your body. Just a little more stimulated all along your spine. And again, we're going to bring the hands out into table and pivot all the way into resting crocodile. All the way on your belly, head to the side, hands, palms up. After a couple breaths, lift the head one way, exhale, turn the head to the opposite side. Again, shoulders are down, feet hip width apart, and just relax. Clasp your arms across your lower back. Bring your forehead to the floor. We're going to do a supported version of Cobra. So again, inhaling, face forward, crown up, chin back toward your chest, stretch the back of the neck. Focus on the heart, forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And keep those forearms just pressing gently into your lower back for a little support there. Take a moment and breathe. And then lengthening, we're going to exhale and turn looking toward one side. Kind of raise that elbow you're turning toward up a little, the other one down toward the floor. So twist on your spine. Then exhale, turn back toward the mat. And we'll twist the other way. So again, chest forward and up, grand high, chin in. Exhale, elbow coming down. Turning slightly toward the side, shoulder coming up on that side you're turning toward. Take a breath and exhale and rotate back into position. And then a lengthening lift, maybe a little higher through the crown. And then exhale and bring your forehead down. Hands to your sides and under your shoulders. And again, Press into child's pose. Take a moment there, just breathe and lengthen through the whole back of your body. Nice forward bend. Take a moment and relax. And then again, inhaling, sitting up. Just feel your body nice and straight through the spine for a moment. And then bring your legs out in front, all the way to the end of the mat. Use your core for support. I'm going to slowly roll down. So just feel your whole spine connecting one part at a time as you roll onto the floor. 
And just a little reclined integration, corpse position. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, just let your body relax. And bring your arms to T position, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. So we're gonna work that lower back a little bit now in our twist. So press your back down on the floor, bend your right leg, put the foot on the left side like you're standing on it. We're rolling all the way to the left side. So remember, keep your head down as you roll. Everything coming over, hands together on the floor in front of you, knee down, and the whole side of your body on the floor, head still on the mat. Take your left hand on your knee, right arm straight above it. Palm open to the ceiling as you bring that hand back right at shoulder level. So don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your foot, just straight back. It may be in the air, that's okay. Just let it go as far as it wants. And then relax, exhale tension. The more you emphasize the exhalations, the more those ligaments release and your spine can move into the twist. Let it happen, don't force anything. Personal practice, just going where your body needs to. The knee on the floor, the more you keep it there, the more the lower back is in the twist. Middle back in the twist as that hand goes toward the floor. And neck area twist as you turn your head to look toward that arm behind you. So as much twist or as little as your body needs. Remember always personal practice, especially on the twist. So you're gentle where you need to be. Take a breath, exhale, just let that twist occur. And when you're ready to release, let go of the knee. Roll onto your back and slide the foot near the other one. Take a moment, feeling all that circulation through your body. Breathe deep. Exhale, shoulders down, hands, palms up, and feet hip with the point. And again, we're going to twist, of course, to the opposite side. So bending your knees, press the back down, and left foot coming up to the right thigh. Again, make sure you keep your head on the floor as you roll all the way over to the right side and bring that knee all the way to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Hands are together in front of you. Knee is on the floor. Take that lower hand, right hand on the left knee and bring the right arm right above your shoulder. Look at it. And again, palm open to the ceiling as you watch it lower behind you as far toward the floor as it wants to go. So again, the more you keep the knee on the floor, remember that's your lower back. Be gentle there if you need to. It's always a personal practice. Arm coming down, middle back twist. <sighs> Emphasize those exhalations. That helps release all those ligaments and let the spine release deeper into the twist if you love a twist. And again, head turning for your neck area twist, only as far as your neck is willing and wants to go. Take a few breaths here, just again, relaxing, allowing your twist, never forcing it, because twists are a little bit overdoing for some types of bodies. Make sure that you're not overdoing for yourself. Take a breath. Just relax and release. And of course, when you practice twists on your own, hold them longer, they're even better. But for now, just release that knee, roll onto your back, and slide the foot near the other one, bringing your hands near your hips, palms up into corpse position for a relaxation. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press the back just gently down and then just let it arch up in its natural position. Feet toward the ceiling, maybe a little bit out, but don't exaggerate that. Just let those legs and hips release. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Belly moving as you breathe. Just let that torso relax. Lots of spine work today, so just release any tension 
anywhere from your hips to your shoulders. And let that body go. Soften your jaw, your face, your throat, everything. Just relax your body. And let it grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth embrace. And let your body go. And as you release thoughts of your body, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, you can let the thoughts drift away without awareness. Breathing deep. Exhaling and relaxing. Letting your mind just drift without attention to any thoughts. Not thinking of the past or anticipating the future. Just letting the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. And as you relax deep into that earth embrace and your thoughts float more freely away, just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing longer today, feel free to stay relaxed as long as you have time and opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you do, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more fully, just go ahead and bend your knees, pressing your back down, draw your heels toward your hips and your heels toward you. Oops. Knees toward your heart, wrap your arms around, give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the body's work that it does for you every day. And when you're done, release bringing your feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.